Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we unlocked the new Team of the Season gameplay objective card through Division Rivals and his name is Adresa Ghana Gay. Now, if you guys remember, uh, this card is a baby meta card. If you guys don't know what baby meta is, it's a term that we use here on this channel where, um, you know, players that you use in the beginning of the year that were really, really good. And Adresa Ghana Gay was obviously one of those cards. So, with him being a baby meta card, obviously improving a card like this is going to be huge hugely beneficial right we're taking a look at a card that is five foot nine with medium high work rates three star skills with a three star weak foot in regards to the traits that this card has he has only the long shot taker for the cpu ai so nothing uh too important in regards to that in regards to his in-game attributes we're looking at a card that has 89 acceleration 86 sprint speed shooting presence is okay at 67 finishing and 99 shot power obviously with the work rate that this card has and all that kind of stuff he is going to be used as a medium high work rated player um, but he does have shot power so very very nice to have uh, a nice thing that this card has too is a passing presence which is very very important in all uh, in all regards to just being able to take specific touches, pass the ball off to other players uh, in regards to them making specific runs and whatnot. So it's good that he has passing. But an important thing with this card too is the fact that his base card stats in the CDM position with dribbling stats like that look obviously phenomenal for a CDM, right? Especially on medium high work rates. He is three star, three star. So I was kind of thinking, you know, maybe if he had the four star weak foot, it would be really nice. Um, defensive stats are basically almost perfect, almost perfect. Uh, and then his physical stats are really, really nice. Now, the big thing with cards like this with Adri Adrisa Gana Gay is having interceptions, pace, and aggression. All of those together, for a, the type of player that Adrisa Gana Gay is, you know, players like uh, Alan, Conte, small players but are very agile to get around the pitch really quickly, defend really nicely, that, that's what Adrisa Gana Gay is going to be really good at doing. Now, because he is a medium high work rate player with 88 attacking positioning, you could potentially use him as a balanced, uh, balanced CDM with somewhat of an attacking presence. Now, again, his base card stats for finishing are not that good, so it would be an ideal situation to mostly play this card on stay back while attacking cover center because... You know, if you need the extra attacking presence, then he'll use it. But because he's not like a high, high work rate of player or a high, medium work rate of player, on the balance instructions um, or on the stay back while attacking instructions, he's not going to aggressively push up that much. Potentially, we do need to try that out in game because Ferland Mendy is the one card I use in the CDM position that even on stay back while attacking um, and, and with attacking positioning, even with medium high work rates, he was still pushing forward, right? So the card looks really good. Um, I'm kind of curious to see which chemistry style we would give him because, I mean, the card looks phenomenal because obviously, in my opinion, you want to boost the pace and the defending because you want to make the defending as perfect as possible because all the main things that he already has is already there, right? Um, so I feel like making his pace as good as possible, making his defending as good as possible would be the most ideal situation for um, a card like this. So if we take a look at what people have decided to give him in regards to the chemistry style... We are looking at mostly Shadow, most likely, right? Yeah, so Shadow and Catalyst. Catalyst would be what? Catalyst is um, Catalyst is not really a chemistry style that's often used, so I don't even remember what it does. And always, it's always the chemistry style that I can't find, that, that I want to find that I can't see. There it is, Catalyst right there. Okay, so he gets a pace boost and a passing boost. I think that's irrelevant. Like, obviously, his defensive stats are already really good, but just make it perfect, you know? Like, and it's a plus... I mean, I mean, a catalyst does make sense too. All right, guys. So for the instructions of the team, we will be using the four-two-three-one as we normally do, with pressure on heavy touch, but depth on five. Because I want to see how aggressive he is in regards to intercepting the ball. Because I expect that from players like this, like Conte, like Alon, right? So hopefully he's really good at doing that. Um, we're gonna have Adrisa Gonaga play in the right center defensive mid position with the instruction of stay back while attacking and cover center. So we'll just be playing regular FIFA. And uh, we'll just do these guys on get into the box. This guy on stay forward. Stay, he needs to stay central. Um, if Ozzy Main has a team of the season card, that has, a, that has a lot of potential for me to review because of this card being decent on stay central, right? But a team of the season being significantly better, hopefully because of the dribbling. But um, I didn't actually check out the team of the season because I was busy doing the gameplay objectives. We're two games off of uh, Golovin's card as well. So we'll get that unlocked soon times. Uh, but for now, let's get into a game, see how Adrisa Gana Gay plays in the CDM position. We'll be doing a combination of trying and also analyzing the card. So we'll see what's up. 
Okay, so we're testing out the dribbling right now. He actually looks, he actually feels taller in game. Very, very nice thing to have. Yeah, the fact that he feels taller in game is actually really nice. He does feel like he has a body, a body type that's more skinny. So that means he's going to rotate around the field really quickly. Uh, I can tell you the guys this right now that this dribbling is brilliant to have in the CDM position. So we'll see how that plays out. Right, defensive awareness, great right there. You know, it could be a potential thing where a catalyst could be good enough for him, right? Obviously, but I just feel like with the passing boost, like who really cares too much about the passing boost, you know? You could obviously see that his defensive presence is fantastic. On the state back while attacking instruction, he actually positions himself quite decently. Um, right, good positioning there with Idrissa Ganagay. He positions himself really well with Lauren Blanc, both being medium high work rate players. It's, I personally like the medium high for both of the CDMs just because it causes like this good balance in the team, right, in regards to them defending. And you could see that right away that Idrissa Ganagay's. Um, his um, his baby meta concept from before is really playing a part for this team of season card too because the way that he's playing the CDM position right now is very very solid. See on stay back while attacking, I really like the way that he's positioning himself. So I don't know, there's like a cool concept you can work with there with uh, him and Bakayoko in the same team because that full birthday Bakayoko is like a foot, uh, a five star weak foot player. So it'd be like a cool concept to work with. But he's really nice on the stay back while attacking for sure. Yeah, you can see the stay back while attacking on him is perfectly fine when we're attacking. Um, he's not going to utilize that attacking positioning, right? Uh, but if you have him on balance, you know, there's going to be times and places where he's probably going to make those forward runs. But like I said, I like my CDMs to play in this way, so it's not like a huge issue for me, right? See, Lauren Blanc attacks. Adrisa Ganagay stays back in position. I don't expect his shooting to be any good at all. Like I, This card is strictly for a strong defensive presence, right? So definitely food for thought. I want to try him on the balance instruction. Like defensively, I mean, you guys can see he's always making the right plays. Very agile to get into the position. Actually feels taller in game. So all of that, dudes, is in the CDM position is amazing. Uh, but I want to see what his off-the-ball movement is like on balance because sometimes it's nice to have a medium-high worker to player on the balance instruction just because of the way that they actually move around the pitch. Let's try a long shot from there. So, yeah, you can see his shooting's not that good. So, he's going to 100% be more of a stay-back while attacking cover center player. Um, I do want to see how he's going to play on balance. So, I don't want to tell him to join the attack. Join the attack is super linear, uh, but I feel like on balance, I'll be able to see what he's going to be like pushing forward, right? This is the part I want to try. So you see how agile he is just to run forward. This gameplay obviously during the daytime is not great, but you could see that he himself moves around the pitch really nicely. Because he has dribbling stats like this, guys, it's it's the biggest thing to have in regards to compensating for bad gameplay, right? So, you know, all this emphasis stuff that's happening right now, Adrisa Gone Gay will be the type of card that will uh compensate for it really nicely. You can see he actually starts to move in the attacking areas with the balance instructions because he has the 88 attacking positioning, right? It's not to mean that it's not to say that he's gonna constantly do it, obviously, but he'll do it, he'll do it uh frequently, I would say. Or not frequently, but he'll do it uh once in a while when it makes sense, you know. You can even see in that situation right there, because he's around the attacking area, he actually stays uh to attack more. But like I said, this card doesn't really have a shooting presence like Alan does. So it's probably not ideal to use him as an attacking player, but you can see that he's definitely utilizing um, his attacking positioning a lot, right? Yeah, quick agility, right? I, like even though it's like uh, ice skates like crazy, he compensates so well for it. He went all the way to the right side, but still went back to the left side really quickly. All right, guys, so final verdict on the card. This is a really, really good gameplay objective card, right? Everything that is noticeably good in regards to using him beforehand is really nice in game, right? The fact that he's five foot nine, but he feels like a five foot ten player in game is really, really nice. And I actually really love that. 
Um, his lean body type makes him move left and right really nicely. So if your gameplay is not up to par and a card like this feels taller in game, it's definitely going to be an ideal situation for you. Now, again, with the passing stats, guys, you could essentially give him the Catalyst Chemistry style to boost his passing if you really want to because his defense is obviously very good uh, just by itself. I just feel like for me... Because he's going to be mostly used as a CDM on stay back while attacking cover center, I would still give him a shadow to make his defense as perfect as possible, as well as improving his pace. Because when you have pace like that, like I was mentioning earlier in the review, when you have aggression like that, pace like that, defensive stats like that, interceptions as base card stats that look good, a card like this is going to play really well for you. Now, again, you shouldn't expect... A shooting presence from this card 67 finishing is not great and it's really noticeable from certain angles right but you know if you have him on the balance instruction you can expect him to attack sometimes even with the medium high work rates because of the 88 attacking positioning he has so this is definitely one of those cards that I was able to tell what he was before the game and he felt the same in game not all of the cards are like that some of them really disappoint me when they have like really good stats but um, this card definitely doesn't. Him being a baby meta card is a really, really big deal, guys, because cards like this, when are, when they're improved, are really, really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and work on the Golovin review and the Pyatt review, and then we'll see what we can get later today. I might actually get Promis and Zayek as well for you guys if you guys want to check that out. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.